Hello, welcome to how to solve this Diophantine equation. A square plus 2ab plus b is equal to 22. And we need to find all possible values of a and b where a and b are positive integers. It means a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. First of all, from these two terms 2ab plus b, we can factor out b. We write this a square first, a square plus b times in bracket left this 2a and from here 1, 2a plus 1 is equal to 22. Next we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, 2 times a square 2a square plus 2 times b 2b times 2a plus 1 is equal to 22 times 2 44. Next we add and subtract a in the left side of this equation 2a square plus a minus a plus 2b times 2a plus 1 is equal to 44. This plus a minus a is equal to 0. So, this plus a and negative a does not make any change to the whole expression. Now, from these two terms 2a square plus 1a, we can factor out a. a times in bracket left 2a plus 1 minus a plus 2b times 2a plus 1 is equal to 44. Next, we change the position of this term. We write this plus 2b times 2a plus 1 here and we move this negative a in the last. a times 2a plus 1 and we write this 2b times 2a plus 1 first plus 2b times 2a plus 1 and we move this negative a in the last minus a is equal to 44. Now, you can see that we can factor out 2a plus 1 from here. From these two terms, we can factor out 2a plus 1. 2a plus 1. 1 times in bracket left this a and this plus 2b a plus 2b and in the last we write this negative a minus a is equal to 44. Next because here we have 2a and here we have 1a. To make this 1a 2a, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. 2 times 2a plus 1 times a plus 2b minus 2 times a 2a is equal to 44 times 2 88. Now, because here we have 2a plus 1, so we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation. Two times 2a plus 1 times a plus 2b minus 2a minus this one minus 1 is equal to 88 minus 1 87. Next 2 times 2a plus 1 times a plus 2b and from these two terms negative 2a minus 1 we can factor out minus 1 minus 1 times in bracket left 2a plus 1 
is equal to 87. Now as you can see this expression 2a plus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out 2a plus 1 from here. 2a plus 1 times in bracket left this 2 times a plus 2b from here and negative 1 from here. 2 times a plus 2b minus 1 is equal to 87. Next, 2a plus 1 times we multiply this 2 by this a and by this plus 2b. 2 times a, 2a and 2 times plus 2b plus 4b. This negative 1, negative 1 is equal to, now because at left side we have 2 factors. So, we factorize this 87. This 87 can be factorized as 1 times 87, 3 times 29, 29 times 3 and 87 times 1. And because we are looking for positive integer values of a and b, so a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. If a and b are greater than 0, then this expression 2a plus 1 must be smaller than this expression 2a plus 4b minus 1. So, from these factor pairs, we select only these two pairs 1 times 87 and 3 times 29 because this one is smaller than this 87 and this 3 is smaller than this 97. We reject these two pairs. So, we have two cases 1 times 87 and 3 times 29. First, we solve the case 1 1 times 87. Now, we write this smaller factor 2a plus 1 equal to this smaller factor 1 and we write this greater factor 2a plus 4b minus 1 equal to this greater factor 87. 2a plus 1 is equal to 1 and 2a plus 4b minus 1 is equal to 87. From here we move this plus 1 to the right side 2a is equal to 1 minus 1 and 2a is equal to 1 minus 1 0 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get the value of a 0. Now to find the value of b we put this value of a 0 in this equation. 2 times the value of a 0 plus 4b is equal to, we move this negative 1 to the right side, 87 plus 1. Next, 2 times 0, 0. So, we write this 4b only. 4b is equal to 87 plus 1, 88. We divide both sides by 4 this 4 will be cancelled with this 4 and b is equal to 88 divided by 4 22. So, from here we have the value of a 0 and value of b 22. In the first case we have the set of solution a comma b is equal to 0 comma 22. Now, we solve the second case 3 times 29. We write this 2a plus 1 times 2a plus 4b minus 1 equal to 3 times 29. In case 2, we write 2a plus 1 times 2a plus 4b minus 1 is equal to 3 times 
29. Now we write this smaller factor 2a plus 1 equal to this smaller factor 3 and we write this greater factor 2a plus 4b minus 1 equal to this greater factor 29. 2a plus 1 is equal to 3 and 2a plus 4b minus 1 is equal to 29. From here we move this plus 1 to the right side 2a is equal to 3 minus 1 and 2a is equal to 3 minus 1 2 and we divide both sides of this equation by 2. This 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and value of a is equal to 2 divided by 2 1. Now, to find the value of b we put this value of a 1 in this equation 2 times value of a 1 plus 4 b is equal to 29 we move this negative 1 to the right side plus 1 2 times 1 2 plus 4 b is equal to 29 plus 1 30. Now, we move this 2 to the right side 4 b is equal to 30 minus 2. Next 4 b is equal to 30 minus 2 28 and we divide both sides by 4. This 4 will be cancelled with this 4 and b is equal to 28 divided by 4 7. So, we have the value of a 1 and value of b 7. In the second case, we have pair of solutions a comma b is equal to 1 comma 7 and in the first case, we have the set of solution 0 comma 22 and because we are looking for positive integer values in which a should be greater than 0. So, this solution a comma b is equal to 0 comma 22 will be rejected. So, the only solution to this equation is a comma b is equal to 1 comma 7. Now, let us verify this solution. To verify this solution, we put these values 1 and 7 in the original equation. The original equation is a square plus 2ab plus b is equal to 22. In this equation, we put the value of a 1 and value of b 7. 1 square plus 2 times value of a 1 times value of b 7 plus value of b 7 is equal to 20. 2. 1 square is 1 plus 2 times 1 2 and 2 times 7 14 plus this 7 is equal to 22 and 1 plus 14 is 15 15 plus 7 22 is equal to 22. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the values of a and b 1 and 7 are correct.